Here's the other trick a lot of people ask me about. The ring and chain trick is a great trick. You ask somebody to drop this ring onto the chain, and here's what usually happens. That's what happens when they do it. Here's what happens when you do it. How did I do that? Watch. When you hold the ring, you're holding it with your index finger and your thumb. But you're putting your middle finger slightly underneath it. See that? Now when you let go, you let go of your thumb first, like this. Just lighten the pressure. Don't go like this. Just lighten the pressure there. And then this side will fall first. And because it hits your middle finger, it's going to do a half a turn. And it stays on the chain. Don't ask me why. That's another whole another theory. But, so you hold it like this. The other thing you got to make sure you do is you have the opening of the chain. You don't have it like this, okay? You can't have the chain and the fingers lined up. You have the chain... The, the thumb and the, end, the finger has got to be lined up through the opening of the chain. And now if you just let go with your thumb first, stays right on that ring. It's pretty awesome. You can have a lot of fun with this trick. Have a story with it. What I usually do is put the chain on a woman around her neck and have the man hold the ring. And then I tell the woman to let her aura soak into the chain and I have the man, same thing. Then I say, to prove your love to that woman, you drop that ring onto that chain. What? And he'll drop it and drop it. And I go, dude, if you were meant for each other, if you drop that ring and she's still holding the chain, I go, if you drop it and it stays on, then you two are... I guess it's me and you who are meant for each other, honey. So that's how we do that trick. It's a good one. Have fun with it. This costs about a buck and a half. It's a lamp chain with a clasp. This costs about a buck at a hardware store. No problem. Peace. I'm out. I'm scuba.